The bee's knees. Now this is uh, another classic that has seen a, a big resurgence of late, and it's one of the few classic cocktails that actually was born out of the Prohibition era. Uh, the name comes from uh, the jazz age. The bee's knees meant the best. It was just sort of a slang term uh, thrown around by the cool kids and the hipsters back then. Um, and it got its name because of honey that's used in the drink. And interestingly, the honey was probably put in to mask the flavor of some really bad gin back then because you couldn't get good stuff. Now, fortunately, uh, we don't have that problem anymore. We can get really good quality gin like this Beef Eater 24, which is infused with Japanese sencha tea and goes beautifully with honey and lemon. So we're gonna use two ounces of that and we're gonna go with about a half ounce of honey. I do like using raw honey. You can make a, a honey syrup if you like, which is just equal parts of uh, honey and water, cook it down and stir it up and you're good to go. Pours a little easier, but I like the, the raw quality of a, a good local honey. We're gonna go with a half ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. And we're gonna shake it up. And like most of the great classics, this is another one where if you add an ingredient here or there, it makes it a, a little variation. I really like adding a couple of drops of absinthe to this drink, and it's called a bee sting. That, in my opinion, is the way to go. No garnish here. Serve straight up in a cocktail glass. And there we have it. Bee's knees.